Hey everybody, welcome back to day three of our Capture One portrait tutorial retouching series in which we're going to be retouching this picture here without using Photoshop. We're doing only the tools available to us inside of Capture One. Uh, so we're going to take the original and turn it into something like this. And this photo is actually available for you to download as well. There's a link in the description. It's $2 and uh, part of that goes to the model here who is pregnant with twins. So obviously she greatly appreciates that contribution as well. Uh, so obviously uh, we're kind of bending Capture One a bit here. And if you followed along in this series so far, and I highly recommend you do, uh, because a lot of these things are done in order, you're going to find that we are kind of hammering a nail in with a screwdriver in that a lot of these tools are probably being tortured a bit and may not be exactly being used as intended. Uh, so I highly advise you to watch the entire episode because today we're going to be torturing the color management side of Capture One to do color correction. Now, so far we have done some healing and cloning, and then we went ahead and did dodging and burning uh, for a corrective. Today we're going to do corrective colorization. That means we're going to fix color issues in the image. And that is not the artistic thing like color grading and so on. This is actually fixing colors. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. So if you've been following along so far, this is what you should have. We have a healing layer and we have a clone layer. We've just taken care of some things in the image that we really can't fix effectively with dodge and burn. Then we went ahead and did our dodge and burn where we lightened and darkened correctively to try and fix some things with the skin. And this is really an area where you wanna take your time and really polish up the image. We can do an Alt M, that's M as in Mary, to take a look at the mask here. And you see the mask that I have drawn for this specific layer and the same for the darken or the burn layer. Now the benefit here is that we've lightened and darkened her skin texture, so we don't have to worry about any strange clone tracks or other weird things because it is actually her skin. So the problem we have to deal with today is color issues, and there's going to be minor fluctuations in color. You'll also notice that if we dodge and burn an area, uh, for example, if you take a lighter area and burn it down, it will be very saturated compared to similar values. And conversely, if we take an area that is very dark and we brighten it, you'll notice that it is not very saturated because a darker color as you saturate it won't have as much color once you've lightened it. So we need to fix those things and you may have significant ones. I have one here that is really jumping out at me and it's right here on her cheek. Uh, so if we do a before and after, you can see we removed that and we created a situation where we've got this bit of glaring color. And there's a lot of those hanging around the picture here and we need to get rid of those. So uh, here's again, me bending Capture One to do some strange things. We need to be able to see the problem before we can really fix it. My favorite way to do that is to create an adjustment layer and uh, you can fill it this way or you can click and hold and choose new filled adjustment layer, whichever way you'd like to do it. And what I want to do is I want to take and I want to saturate this. And then I'm going to do it again. So click and hold, new field adjustment layer, and crank up the saturation again. I'm going to do it one more time. Click and hold, adjustment layer, and crank up the saturation. So now it should be pretty obvious where the issues lie in the skin. So we have some pink here, around next to the nose, under the eye, random parts in the cheek, down here in the chin, there's a few. So we're going to be using the exact same technique that I did in a hue stacking adjustment layer tutorial. So to do that, we're going to create a new field adjustment layer and we're going to rename it color fix. Now on this layer, what we're going to be doing is going into our color tab and we're going to be going down to the color editor and we're going to be using the advanced tab. Now, if you're using the basic version of Capture One, you will not have an advanced tab. You'll have a basic tab here. And there's not as much flexibility here, although you can still do the same thing. It's just gonna take you a little bit longer to get down to the area that you're looking for. So click in the advanced tab, and we're going to use the eyedropper here, and we're going to click on one of the offending colors. And we're going to try and do the most offensive version of it that we can find. Uh, so I'm gonna go for like right in here. And Capture One's going to show us the area that is a problem. We're going to click on view selected color range so we can see what we're looking at. And then we can make some adjustments here to see if we have the right thing. So do I need to adjust the saturation to get more of this? And I don't think so because we don't really need to correct the lips. We're looking more at these little areas here. So I'm trying to find the right zone. And then the same thing on this side, do we need more of this or less of this? And then the edges here is how much we wanna to go toward yellow, which is not the direction we wanna go. And then how much we need to go toward blue, which really probably won't matter. So once we find something we're happy with, and this looks pretty good to me, we're going to undo that and we're going to go back hue and we're going to adjust the slider until everything kind of fits together. Don't look at the lips, look at everything else. Look at these areas here. 
and try and get those corrected. And that looks pretty good. So that's a lot better than it was. So let's do a before and after. If you want, you can click E to grab your eraser. Hit M and you can go ahead and remove the mask from the lips if you're having difficulty seeing these changes there. Something like this, just quick and dirty. And then we can toggle this on and off and look at the rest of the skin. So we're looking out and around here. So that did a pretty nice job of getting rid of these areas. Now we still have a couple other ones like this one here. So we're just gonna grab the eyedropper again and do the exact same process. So grab the offensive area. It's saying over here, we want to click and view the selected color area. And then we want to try and target that area closer. So it's a bit more saturated. So we know we're going to go this way with it. And then we have to try and zone in on the part that is the problem. Like something around in there. And then we're going to uncheck this. And the problem with this one isn't so much the color or the hue, it's the saturation. So we're going to grab the saturation and pull that back a little bit just so this area all blends in a little bit better. We can do the same thing with this previous layer too, if this looks a little wonky. Let's go and click on it here and pull the saturation down. So everything blends in and that looks very good. So let's go ahead and go back to our layers and uncheck our adjustments so we can actually see what we have done. And it's going to take a second for your eyes to refresh. And you'll notice too that mark on her cheek is pretty well gone. So if we click on and off with the color fix, we should be able to see differences like that in these areas. And this is a minor adjustment, but again, we're going for perfection here. We're trying to make the most perfect portrait we can inside of Capture One. So what part of this process did you find to be the most interesting? And what part of this series have you learned something? And you're like, ah, oh, had an aha moment. Let me know in the comments below, and I'd love to know what you think. And next time we're going to get into the more creative aspects of this portrait series, and not so much the corrective one since the hard work is pretty much behind us. Everybody take care and stay safe, and I'll catch you next time.